in a campaign of joy followed by sorrow on repeat. Who knows what will happen after two, two defeats on the trot for the team from the west of Sydney. Brisbane have put themselves in a great position off the back of a run of consistent results and watchable football. Their young players as good as any across the league. Get on the end of this rebound, will he? Yeah, get there in front of Aldrup. Is there a little nick on him? No. Abari down to Chantress. Chance here for Brisbane. Space for Danzaki. First touch is good. Second touch is a little dink, and it's well saved by Margush, who did extremely well to get in the way of it. Well, it's a great save by Margush. What a great chance. Dorans with the corner, it ends up in the six yard box and nearly bouncing, falls to O'Shea. Oh, the Kudus dwelt not too long, but they'll get it back here, Wanderers. They'll get another crack at it, Tass, and it's it out to Dorans again. It's only Bacchus at the far post, and Beanie, shorter region. He picks out Bacchus, oh, Jamie Young! Acrobatic! It's been an excellent performance so far. But so too Brisbane, they've contributed to what's been a wonderful half hour of football. Colina to Abini. Oh, what a goal that is on the turn. Bernie Abini got it stuck in his feet, got those feet out the way, and has given Wanderers perhaps a deserved lead. Players receiving the ball on a half turn, looking to play the ball forward at the earliest opportunity. This was another example. But Avini's had a couple of sights at goal. It takes his third, and he finishes it really nicely. Young picks out Parsons. What about that? Brings it down, and off he goes. Danzaki, chance here for Brisbane. Riku Danzaki giving a little nudge. Markush with his feet this time. He's done it with his hands so far this half. That was as important as the other two. O'Shea. Neville from distance. Oh, Markush was hoping as he looked over his shoulder, put the mid out. It was a way to safety, and that's perhaps the end of the half it is. Well, just enjoy this. Markush with a trailing leg. Make sure that the half-time break comes with the Wanderers' lead intact. Now biting stuff here, if you're fans of either of the side, but it must be said. Oh, here we go. Parsons. Demi has a go near post, and again, Margush, for the second time tonight, is down quickly. Brisbane just go back the other way directly. Mordekutis, he's really hurt himself. I think he's rolled his ankle when he's landed there. He's down in a heap. Just on the edge of the final third for Wanderers. Play goes on. Akbari, Truen, trouble here for Wanderers. Oh, Tanzaki passed it back to where it came from instead of putting it in the back of the net. Much. Can't bring it down to benefit his team. So Troisi actually steals it off uh, O'Shea. Does really well. James Troisi, nice little ball over to Bruce Kamau. He's got Jordan Much, frees a bird at the fast stick. Kamau to seal it. Bruce Kamau. What a season he's having. Can't stop scoring goals. And this one seals a victory that keeps Wanderers' faint hopes of playing in the finals alive. And he fires it home. Near post, 2-0 for the Wanderers. The season ain't done yet. Super work from one of their best. And they're home for the three points now, you'd reckon. It's still out of their hands, but they've still given themselves some hope. Some hope is better than no hope. And that's what Wanderers have got out of this one at Bankwest Stadium, keeping faint finals hopes alive. That man played a massive part. Daniel Margush was on his game, especially in the first half. Full-time at Bankwest Stadium. Western Sydney Wanderers 2. Brisbane Raw, nil.